it's hard enough to lose a dog, but like watching him die in front of your eyes in such like a horrible, like brutal way. The attack happened in a matter of seconds. Harvey Sharma and her mom were walking with their Yorkshire Terrier Hugo on Wednesday night. Someone's backyard gate was left open and a German Shepherd ran out. He barked at him for like a couple of seconds and just grabbed him and just started swinging him around. And we were, it was such a terrifying, traumatic experience. Hugo the Terrier died. He's, he was not a dog. He understand everything. Sharma's mom, Sumati, is recovering from bite wounds to her arms. The shepherd has been turned over to animal services for a behavioral assessment. It will be held for 21 days and could end up being euthanized, but one animal rights lawyer says that's not the only solution. I have dealt with so many dogs and cases like these where the dog, this was a mistake, and the dog can be rehabilitated if that's what's needed, and if not, then managed, and to ensure that something like this does not happen again. The BC SPCA says the city can impound dogs for 21 days if they have bitten someone. It can also require aggressive dogs to be muzzled or secured on private property. It's really important for individuals if they see unsafe behaviors, if they see a dog um, putting people at risk at any time, that they call the city and report it so that a fine can be issued to prevent something happening in the future. Something Sharma is worried about, given how many families there are in the neighborhood. If you know your dog's in the backyard and you know he gets angry easily, keep your gates locked, you know, like little things like that. If they had just locked the gate, none of this would have happened. She hopes the dog owners will take responsibility and that something can be learned from Hugo's death. Andrea Ross, CBC News, Vancouver.